This is a Prince Astro or Prince Optics astronomical telescope model 660. Uh, objective diameter is 76 mm.2 and the focal length is 1250. And it's made in Japan and the circle key sign can be seen here. Um, Prince Optics Astronomical Telescope Model 6, 660. Diameter of the object, objective lens is uh, 76.2 mm and the focal length is 1250 mm and this is the Japanese Circle K, Kenko. And uh, throughout the telescope inside between the baffles after and before the baffles is all darkened, blackened. So practically uh, is a contrasty telescope. And this is the Japan Institute of Telescopes, QC Past. And I think there is a serial oh no, is it past or is a serial number? So as you can see, it's written past. I don't see a serial number here. There's a reverse, of course. You have to look at the reverse. And I tested it on the some objects. It's comma free. Uh, sorry, I have a com uh, color or chromatic aberration free. So all in all, it's a good telescope. It's very long, and uh, yeah, I bought it mainly for the eyepieces, but now I have the telescope also. <laughs> this is my uh, model 660 uh, Circle K uh, refractor telescope. And as you can see inside of it, all space even between the baffles are covered with the with the black material so it's practically uh, yeah dark So, this is exceptional because I saw in a video on YouTube that they say that there are models of this telescope that uh, the inside is not blackened. I mean, between the baffles. So, this one is completely blackened. And this is, uh, uh, of course, uh, the objective lens of this 3 inch. And uh, yeah, as you can see, no coating. So it's quite old. This is the objective lens of the telescope. Um, I mean, just dismantle the whole lens, not just removing the lens, just the whole lens, in, including the holders of it. And inside, also inside the doublet, I will clean it. And anyway, that's the telescope, as you can see. Quite long telescope. Yes, the focal length is uh, really big, mm, 1,250 millimeter, and the diameter of the objective is uh, 76 point uh, two. And that makes it really f12, I think, or bigger, yeah, f15. If what we know about the description of these telescopes. Uh, and uh, what we know about the refractors and the chromatic aberration, that means this telescope should not have much chromatic aberration. And we will try to see that. And I direct it toward an object. It comes with three eyepieces. This is the 25 millimeter uh, Huygens. See, the objective doesn't have any coating, but uh, you are now looking to the eyepiece 25 millimeter Huygenian near the center. The image is very good, 
at the margins, the image gets a little bit curvy, so there's some astigmatism in that direction. Mm -hmm. It's not clear. So, um, I have orthoscopic, but uh, not here, but I will do it with orthoscopic. And what you can see, there is no chromatic aberration, as well as far as I can see. It's against the background of the sky, it should be full of purple fringing if it was a normal refractor. You don't see any of that. So no chromatic aberration. And that is the chimney, as you can see. Heat is rising from the earth or the sky. But chimney is clear, no aberration, no chromatic aberration. Of course, this is a Huygenian eyepiece. The center is clear, the sides are not very clear. Video. Based on what I have seen from the inside, and I've shown you actually, I want to show at the end what I showed in the middle. Uh, the baffles inside, between the baffles, the tube is completely blackened, so it's dark, contrast is good. Everything is made of metal, as you can see here. The body of the finder, everything is metal. So we don't have any plastic here almost. Even these are metal. Metal, 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 wooden tripod. There's a very cheap side wooden tripod, I will show you. Uh, it doesn't, uh, as you can see here, tripod doesn't, tripod very good. The weight is good, and metal again, and slow motions, and is a Japanese Circle K, Kenko or Tova. If it is the blackened, I heard that it can be a tova, so it is probably a tova.